Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing the new I don't know if it's called the new beauty guru tag. Okay, I looked it up and I guess maybe when it came out it was called new beauty guru tag. I I don't know. Um but we're just gonna go with it. Beauty guru tag. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. Alright. <laughs> questions on my phone so I'm just going to be reading the questions and I'm going to answer it. Can I talk today? I don't know. So I gotta keep touching my hair because it keeps sticking to my lip gloss. Makeup problems, you know? And I'm sorry if it's a little loud, like uh, there's a little bit of construction going on outside. I swear, everywhere I go in this city there's damn construction everywhere. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it's irritating and there's like annoying ass birds and there's my bird on top of it chirping so it might be a little you know might be some noise going on but let's just go with this so the first question is what is your favorite makeup product I'm all about highlight I love having that dewy shiny sparkly anything kind of skin actually I'm not a big fan of sparkles sparkles can go on with the eyes but not so much on my face um but i love a good highlighter uh, mac by soft and gentle this thing i swear it it's beautiful the camera doesn't even do justice gorgina get your hands on it i'm telling you you will not regret this purchase i just love my my soft and gentle it does have a little bit of shimmer in it but not to the point where your your face is like a pinata or something you know what I mean like it's freaking it's it's beautiful and it's perfect for summertime uh, I put it winter fall spring summer I put it every season I just love a good highlight okay let's just go to the next question list what is the reason for starting your YouTube channel me starting my YouTube channel I have been wanting to be a makeup artist since Honestly, as long as I can remember, when I was younger, I always said, oh yeah, I want to be a hairdresser, I want to do this. Like, I've always been interested in be doing something with beauty. So, I did go to makeup school. Uh, I got my diploma for that. And, um, well, um, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. And I, I think it's with most people that you're kind of, you're kind of skeptical. You're calm. So, yeah, uh, I guess my love for makeup made me make my youtube channel i wanted to i guess share my love for makeup and you know express myself with makeup and i've always wanted to do a youtube channel i guess it was just the fact of pushing myself to just you know push yourself and if you really want to make a youtube channel do it like get yourself out there um and i promise you after that first video you're like okay that wasn't so hard like it's, it's honestly so much, I have so much fun filming. Yeah, if you wanna make a YouTube channel, girl, do it, boy, do it. Like, get yourself out there. It's it's honestly not that hard as you think. Cause once you do it, you're just like, oh my God, you know, like why didn't I do this like a long time ago? I, honestly, when I started my YouTube channel um, and I put my first video out, I was like, okay, why didn't I do this a long time ago? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's honestly so much fun. So if you really wanna do it, just do it. Number three, what beauty guru inspired you to make your channel? The beauty gurus. Um, honestly, one of the first beauty gurus I started watching was Chow Bella XO. I I don't know. I really I really like her channel. Uh, also, I watched. Oh, you know who the very honestly Chow Bella. I love her, but um, the very very first person I started watching was SML X Zero. And it's kind of weird how my channel is Liz X Zero. Um, I guess she inspired me to do my YouTube channel to X0. Um, I said I looked up to them. I was always like, oh, like, you know, I want to be like them. I want to get myself out there like them. Like, I was always envious of how confident they were. And then, you know, one day I was just like, you know what? Girl, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> uh, number four, what favorite thing to do besides beauty related things? So we'd say, I honestly love traveling. Um, I've only been to two places. Or no, three places, sorry. I've been to three places and ever since my first trip was Italy, ever since I, I, um, ever since I went to Italy, 
I was just like, oh my god, like, I want to travel all the time now. Like, it's kind of like when you get a tattoo and you want to get, like, 10 different tattoos. It's honestly an addiction. Um, I just got back from Cuba maybe, like, a month and a half ago. And I honestly want to go back already. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, planning to go back. It's fun to... It's really fun to see, like, different parts of the world. Like, it's... It's... No, there's nothing like home. Like, every time I travel, I'm, like... Like, after, you know, five, six days that you're there, it's like, okay, like, I miss, I miss reality. I miss my, my, my city, you know, Toronto. You go, like, when I went to Cuba, I was like, wow, like, it's so different. But at the same time, people are so, the people are so different too. Like, they're so calming. They're so, like, relaxed about everything. And you come to Toronto, it's like, you know, like it's busy, it's everything. So when you go to city, like countries like that, and you just get to relax, it's kind of like it's soothing, like it's soothing to the soul. You know what I mean? Um, even when I went to Italy, like it's Italy and and Toronto, it's very different. If you go to Rome, Rome is very busy. Um, but when you go to like little cities, like the little cities that like my family is from, like Calabria and um. It's very different, like it's kind of like farmy and um, it's very quiet, like everybody knows each other because they're such a small city. It's like a novel long, but I honestly love traveling. Fa number five, favorite store, can I talk today? Favorite store to shop at? Okay, that's really hard because um, I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> Honestly, I used to be a shopaholic. Now, I'm not as bad as I used to be. I guess because before I was really careless with money. Now, I'm just like, you know, I need to buckle down and save and you know what I mean? <laughs> Favorite store to shop at? I guess other than Sephora and MAC, obviously. Shop at is Urban Planet. Um, I love that store. You can honestly find anything that you want there. I honestly love Room Planet. You can get so much there for so little. If you're on a budget, honestly, that's your go-to store. I honestly have so many clothes that have lasted me two years now. And nothing's wrong with them. There's no rips, there's no pulls. There's... That's another good store. I honestly love Garage. Garage is a really nice store. I really like Like, night. Like, honestly, when I go to Garage, I go there to get like pants because when you go to Urban Planet they don't really have like it's not my style kind of pants I honestly go to Urban Planet more for like shirts um, sometimes they have like cute bathing suits um, cardigans more so that and they have really really cute dresses I always get my dresses there like if you see me in a dress it's that from Urban Planet the shirt Urban Planet <laughs> okay, I just exited out of my questions um, Number six, what is your favorite go-to perfume? Pink Sugar. I have like a few. Uh, pink Sugar, you can get it Sephora. I honestly got my Pink Sugar. I was so happy. I went to Shoppers one day and they had Pink Sugar. Like, they were selling it, right? And you know how Shoppers run where they always have like that little um, shelf with like sales of perfumes and stuff? I saw Pink Sugar and I'm like, shut up. Pink sugar is at Shoppers right now. Like, I'm gonna cry. I went up to 20 bucks. I got it for it. And you go to Sephora, it's like 60, 70 bucks. I'm like, huh? Okay. Such a sexy smell that I'm just like, oh, Liz, you smell so good. Guys, <laughs> I've been mixing my Gucci and my um, pink sugar together. It smells freaking phenomenal. I was like, yes, this is my signature smell Gucci and pink sugar together. Uh, number five. Oh no, number five. Girl, we're on number seven. Where are you going? <laughs> number seven. What is your favorite color? Of it, but I love turquoise. Turquoise. I don't know. I'm just. I'm really in love with the color lately. Um, but I've honestly always loved. I like turquoise and purple. Love purple, and I'm gonna tell you why I've always loved purple. It's so so silly, but um, because it's my birthstone, I guess. But I've always loved purple regardless. Um, purple and turquoise are my... Um, number eight, flower or bow? Like, what, in your hair, I guess? Um, I'd rather put a flower in my hair. I'm not so much of a, a bow 
person, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, I'd rather like a flower in my hair or something, you know, with a tequila shot or something. Pina colada by the beach, you know? <laughs> Number nine, rings or bracelets? Um, I love bracelets, but I honestly, after an hour, I get annoyed at bracelets. I'm just like, okay, I want to take this off. Get it off me. <laughs> um, so I'm, I guess I'm going to say rings. I mean, you know, where my ring at? <laughs> Number 10, favorite drugstore makeup brand. Is hard. You know what, I'm gonna have to say L'Oreal. No, L'Oreal is actually a high brand makeup brand. It's, um, it, that's why it's so much more expensive than usual drugstore product. L'Oreal, I have foundations. I always get my eyeliner in L'Oreal. Right now I've been using Maybelline because L'Oreal, I don't even think they have, um, I don't think they have uh, gel in L'Oreal. I don't know, I have to check, but, um, yeah, L'Oreal is my number one. Because honestly, everything I've tried from L'Oreal, I freaking love. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say L'Oreal. Number 11, something that makes you smile. Okay, well a lot of things make me smile. <laughs> I love surprises, so if you do, the smallest thing makes me happy. That's why I'm saying like, something that makes me smile, it's like anything, you know, makes me smile basically. Um, but I'm gonna have to say like surprises. I love surprises. I love um, when someone like goes, you know, makes an effort to, you know, make me happy and make me smile and, you know, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say surprise. I love surprises. Candy. Candy makes me smile. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all for the questions. I had a lot of fun doing this tag. Guys, you know, learn a little bit something about me. Um, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that. Ew. Why is my flash on? Girl, we don't need that lighting. I don't know.